There is a very important index that has statistically almost always posted positive performance during this period. I'm talking about the Dow Jones, one of the most important historical U.S. indexes, which just from the end of June historically has had an extremely positive period that lasted until the middle of July. Let's go look at the exact statistics on the Forecaster software. This is the home page of the Forecaster software. Let's go click on the search bar and choose precisely the Dow Jones index. By default, the five-year seasonality appears, seasonality that already shows us precisely the presence of this particularly positive period. We also go to view the detrended version to see if this period actually has bullish potential. If we select the dates from the 27th of June through the 15th of July, we see precisely that in the last five years, 80% of the years have ended this period positively. If we go on to add other seasonalities, the 7s, 10s, and 15s, we immediately have a confirmation that precisely this period is extremely positive. We see how all the seasonalities have this well-defined upward trend. And if we go and look at the statistics of this period, we see how precisely even at seven years, the performance is positive in 85% of the cases, at 10 years in 90% of the cases, and even at 15 years, it is very, very positive. Interesting to note how despite the difference in years, we have an average upward performance of 38, 32, 3%. So we can say that we can expect in this period an upward performance of 3, 5%. Note also how apart from one case in 2008 where we had a performance of minus 4.29%, 2002 was negative but with a performance of minus 0.67%, so practically break even. Note also how July in general is a very positive month in the history of the Dow Jones. In fact, we see that in the last five years, 100% of the time July has closed positive. In the last seven, 100%. In the last 10, 80%. And in the last 15, 73%. We really see that July historically is the best month for the Dow Jones index. Note also the weekly statistics where we see how the last three days of the week are the most upwardly promising for this index. Keep this in mind should you want to set up intraday strategies. It is important to remember that seasonality should not be used alone. If we also combine seasonality with technical analysis in our hands, we really have a very powerful tool that will improve our trading performance so much. Let's move to the chart to see what the technical analysis says about the Dow Jones. This is the chart of the Dow Jones index. We see that you can draw a trend line from the all-time highs. And we see how this trend line is extremely interesting because once broken at this point, then prices have bounced off of it twice, marking important reversal points. If we go to analyze this whole part, we see that what is in place is a head and shoulders pattern. A classic bullish figure of technical analysis. If we go to calculate the target price of this movement by projecting the distance that there is between the head and the neckline of this figure, we realize that with good probability prices could go back to the all-time highs probably they will not reach this level prices in the next 15 days as per seasonality, simply because here we have a potential upside of 9%. And as we have seen instead from the forecaster in this period, we can expect an upside around 3.5%. So we say that from current prices, a return to these highs is more likely. The last six sessions of the Dow Jones have marked negative returns, so already from these prices it is possible to start building a bullish strategy. If you like this video, I remind you that you can try the Forecaster software for free. In the description, you will find the link to www.forecaster.biz.
With the software, you can calculate statistics and seasonality on all the world's instruments, including ETFs. Visit the site, check if there is the instrument you are interested in, and start using seasonality and statistics in your trading strategies.